Welcome to another daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. Today, we're going to take a look how we can use cross calculations. So we start with a spreadsheet. And as you can see, we have multiple versions. Uh, we have data basically for the year 2020, depending on the version. Uh, we do have multiple accounts and basically one column just for the actual value. So we're going to use the spreadsheet, quickly create a model. We're going to configure the version. We configure the month for the planning. And then we're going to start looking at how we can use the cross calculations with this data. So we do have the model now, so we can start building our story. So in general, a cross calculation is a calculation that allows you to go across multiple accounts. So let's start with a very, very simple example. We will use a table and we will use all the accounts that we have and create formulas that show the current months, the previous months, and the variance. So first we actually show all the accounts in the rows. Then we're going to start enabling the cross calculation as part of the columns. And now we can add formulas that go across all these three accounts that we have. So the first thing we're going to do is we create a calculation that would restrict the value to the current month. So we choose the option for a restricted measure. Then as you can see, the account values is the option. So it goes across all the accounts. Then we filter it down to the current month. And we do want to have the option to choose what the current month is so that we could go back in time. So we actually combine this with an input control. So we have the input control now and we say that we basically want to see the current month. So each time we change the input control, it will actually adjust and our calculations will adjust. In addition, as part of the first calculation, we filter it down to the actual values. So then in our second formula, we will filter it down to the plan and then we can create a variance. So as you can see here, our calculation goes across all the accounts that we have. So we didn't have to create three formulas. We just created one cross calculation. So in the second one, we're doing the same thing. We filter it down to the current month, but this time we use the plan as the version filter. So we do have both options now, and currently the plan is empty because we already have a filter that is filtering the data down to actual, but we will adjust that in a second. So we can remove the account values, and then we quickly add the version to the column, change the filter, and then we can remove the version from the columns again. So as you can see, we now have our two cross calculations that we created where we're actually showing the actual and the plan, and we can now create the variance of those two calculations. So here we have our first example of a cross calculation scenario. We simply have the current months for the actual, the current months for the plan, and we created the calculation. And we can filter down any of the accounts and it will adjust. In the second example, 
for the cross calculation, we also use a table. And then we're going to start enabling the cross calculations. And we will then use the rolling forecast option as part of the calculations. So first we will put all the accounts into the rows like we had in the previous example. We will take the version out of the columns because we're going to create our own column from a rolling forecast. Now we enable the cross calculations and then we go in and, and create a new calculation, which is a rolling forecast. So we basically are now being asked what version we want to use for the rolling forecast. In our case, that would be the plan. When do we want to cut over? We use the current date. And how do we want to show the information? In our case, we want to see the monthly information. We don't want to go back, but we want to go ahead six months. So we're in May, so we should see data until November. So as you can see, we now have multiple columns and important, it's actually multiple calculations that were created. Each column you see is its own calculation. So one of the benefits of these cross calculations is now that we can reuse them. So we can, for example, create a chart and actually use those cross calculations inside the chart. So let's put a new chart below the table. We then add the cross calculations to our chart, and then we can reuse those cross calculations. So all we have to do now is simply choose which of the cross calculations we would like to see. And then we can actually visually show them as part of our chart. We'll switch to the plan because our calculation is based on the plan. And now we can choose which measure we want to use. So let's say revenue in our case, we could combine this with an input control as well. And here we have all the cross calculations that we created as part of the table now shown in a chart. And I would hope that this quick demonstration of what you can do with cross calculation was helpful. And I want to say thank you for watching and listening.